friends welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is Kristen this is intentional living and today we are doing a little bit of a different video I'm actually going to be unpacking what I brought to Europe with me so that you can see what I packed and what I would have left behind if I could do this all over again okay so we will just dive right in first things first I always have my phone obviously and my passport which I won't be showing you um, for obvious reasons why um, so those two things were the two things that I had to have everything else replaceable and then maybe like a credit card or a wallet um, and this was the purse I brought with me that you saw in a video of me um, reviewing this Teddy Blake purse and it actually worked really really well um, it stood up through water through um, being on a mountain in Switzerland so I can recommend the bag after two full weeks of use and it held a lot a lot of things so I'll show you what I packed in there and um, my review of that but the bag was excellent I got a lot of compliments on it and it was very sturdy and safe and exactly what I needed for Europe okay so let's dive into my purse one of the things I packed was a Kindle um, I decided to pack a Kindle over a couple books to save space and that was an excellent idea I would do that again um, I don't love reading on Kindles I look, prefer a physical book but for Europe and for packing light this was excellent next up is my external battery um, charger which came in clutch when I realized that the Swiss have a different adapter than the rest of the UK and um, we were down and out for a while with outlets so that was amazing sunglasses obviously got a lot of use out of those Chapstick, amazing. Had to have it. You can tell maybe that I got a little bit of sunburnt, so um, needed chapstick to stay sane. Advil. I packed some Advil in this cute little tub. If it will focus. There it is. And that came in clutch um, because you might be able to tell I'm a little nasally and my throat was starting to hurt from like some allergies and so Advil was great. And then I have these C-bands and these really saved my life because I do get motion sick and these are really small and compact and I wear them on my wrist just to make me feel less nauseous on boats or trains or planes. And then my wallet of course we'll do a deeper dive into this but I loved the way that this worked out. Um, great size, um, loved having the zipper pouches so yeah no complaints about the wallet. Um, Y'all saw me stuff it in my pack my purse with me video but we'll be doing a full video on the budget breakdown later. So I did just get off the plane today a few minutes like a few hours ago actually um, so some things are packed a little differently than they were in my day-to-day -day, but normally I had this which was my camera case but I'm filming on my camera now but I did have my camera with me which was awesome. I've got so many good photos um, using my camera and then I also brought my paper shoot camera, which I told y'all was a bit of a splurge, but the photos are really, really cool. Um, and I really did like using it. Still not sure if it was worth the investment, but it was super fun and like people loved the idea of it. And I got some fun pictures at the wedding and on my travels. So those were generally the items in my purse on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, sometimes a little bit more, a little bit less, depending on what we were doing that day. Um, but next I had this backpack. So my purse was my personal item on the plane. My backpack was my carry-on item. Um, and I did bring a reusable water bottle, which I never use. So this is something I would not pack again. Um, and that's because I love cold water and most fountains in Europe um, are warm or room temp water. Um, and so I always ended up buying water, which is annoying because that costs money every time. Um, but I probably wouldn't bring this just because I love like ice cold water. So that was something I would skip next time. Next up is this tiny bag of jewelry that I brought. I did not bring a lot. I just brought a few staples and it was really nice to not have to keep up with a ton of jewelry. So I had like two pairs of earrings, two necklaces and a bracelet and that was it. So that was really nice to just keep it small and just keep it in my carry on item with me. All my chargers, of course. Um, glad I brought those. Good use. Here was the Swiss adapter that I had to buy because it didn't, the ones I had didn't fit. So that was an annoying $10 I had to spend because I didn't do my research. This was an adapter that I brought that I think was from when I went to Turkey and didn't work anywhere. So would leave this behind next time. More chargers. Okay, this was the Teddy Blake dust bag, but I brought it to house my like beach bag 
not beach bag, but like, but the bag that I wore at more like beachy locations because it's cute and summery. Um, I did only use this in Croatia, but it was well worth it while in Croatia, I think, to bring it along. Um, inside of it is a L.L. Bean like passport holder, which I used when I studied abroad about nine years ago. And I thought I was going to use it, but I decided not to. And this is where I put all my receipts um, so that I know how much I spent. So I just ended up using it as a receipt holder. So probably wouldn't bring it again in the future. And then I did bring my laptop, um, which was good. Um, I didn't want to bring my laptop, but I ended up not being able to finish everything for my full-time job before we left, so I had to bring it. But I was able to edit a few videos and, um, you know, reconcile some expenses in a Google Sheet, so I guess it was worth it. I'm just glad I didn't lose it or it didn't get stolen because that would have been a bummer, but overall it's light. It wasn't a big deal to bring it, um, but I would love to, like, not bring it next time, but it was fine. And then this is a bag I bought in Europe because we bought a lot of like souvenirs and things. So um, I did have to purchase this bag. This was Colin's carry on and his backpack was his personal item. Um, so we just packed some more delicate things. Like I got this cute nutcracker because I collect nutcrackers. Um, so he got some things like that. But something else that on the way there was in my backpack was my headphones. These are Bose noise canceling over the ear headphones and I packed a pair of like plug-in headphones and the charger so this was highly used um, and it's great to cancel out noise on trains and planes and etc. So that was great. Here's the adapter that I brought that worked everywhere except Switzerland. Um, this was great. I had um, two of these so I gave one to Colin and one to myself um, and I actually bought a really nice one on Amazon that I'll link down below. And um, it was awesome. It had a plug, like three prong, three prong plug and two USB ports, but I left it on a train. So that was the best $10 I spent. And then I left it on the train. But luckily I left it on the train going into Switzerland where it was useless there anyway. So, but do recommend the plug. It was great. So I'll link it down below. We also brought this luggage scale um, just to measure weigh our bags. This is the bag, this is my check bag. And there's no way I could get it above 50 pounds, but we did bring this. Um, I probably wouldn't bring this again just because the bags can't hold that much weight because they're too small. All right, so that was basically everything for my carry-on. So let's unpack the big in and go through those items and what I would bring again and what I wouldn't bring and what I used a lot. So first up, before we get into that, is what I wore to the airport today. I got these Allbird sneakers in beige. It was a limited edition color, and I love them. I will say that I wanted to get them in a 9, but they sold out, so I got an 8. Um, and I definitely needed the 9. So they took some breaking in, but I think they're broken in now. Um, but I love, love, love the sneakers. I just definitely need the 9 next time. I'm also wearing this t-shirt that I really only wore when I traveled, but it was good to have. But then I'm wearing these linen pants that came in so clutch. Um, they're lightweight, they're easy to pack, and I wore them when it was a little like cool out at night or on days where I was like actually like it was chilly out. Um, and I wore them today to travel because they're comfy and they feel like like PJ pants. And so love these. They're from Old Navy. Um, so yeah, love, love, love the linen pants. They worked out really well. Okay, let's oh, unpack her. This is my Gregory Sage 55 liter backpacking backpack that I got for when I studied abroad again about nine years ago. It was great to get another use out of it and we're going to unpack her. I'm going to pull out some souvenirs that I got first and then I'll walk through what I packed. All right, so this has this upper container which I did pack some, I brought back some olive oil for family members and things so pack that up here and then there's this clip and it just expands this way. So first thing is I bought, or my mom bought me packing cubes and these were awesome because you can squeeze all the air out of it um, and save a lot, a lot of space. So this was one of my packing cubes. They helped me organize what was clean, what was dirty. I could organize by outfit. Um, our first stop on the trip was Croatia. So I packed all of my Croatia outfits in one packing cube, which was really nice because then I didn't have to unpack everything. Okay, first things first are my PJs. This was um, a set that I brought to sleep in and I slept in it every single night. Luckily, halfway through our trip, we did have laundry. Um, but yeah, I just really loved having this set of PJs. 
that were comfy and um, some nights were hot because not every place had AC so that's the only thing I probably would have done short sleeve um, in retrospect but that was my only qualm with that. These are a pair of linen shorts I got at J. Crew that obviously they're I wore them yesterday so I need to wash all of this but um these were awesome they were great for when it was super hot out or when we were traveling and it was hot out because again like the pants are so 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 comfy um, and cute so those were great this tank top I wore several times um, definitely a good pack it's just easy like cropped but I have a really short torso so this is actually like a normal size shirt on me um, but yeah wore that a lot it was very comfy Something else I packed were as dryer sheets, which came in clutch. They kept my clothes smelling fresh. Even if I did like wear the same pair of shorts twice, I would pack this in with the packing cube and then they would smell not awful when I went to wear them again. And then obviously we did wash our clothes about halfway through the trip. So that's good. But that, I would pack those again for sure. This is a tank top I got from Lucky Brand before my trip. Um, also got lots and lots of use out of that just cause it's a neutral and it's super small to pack. This is kind of like my small shirt packing cube. Um, this was an old navy shirt that's inside out. Um, but again, just a flowy tank top. That was great to have. Um, I packed a lot of tank tops just because I could layer them. And I felt like they were good for cold and warm days. This is another old navy tank top. Wore that a lot. And then I d packed one bodysuit from old navy. That I only wore once. But I do think it was worth bringing because it was kind of like a nicer outfit and we did go out to eat to a couple nicer places so <clears throat> next packing cube this is my shoe packing cube which generally included all my underwear which i'll spare you um, besides my allbirds i did bring these black sandals which were great for going out at night not when you're walking a lot but just kind of going out um, in the evening or um, just to look a little nicer this was the wedding um kind of gift it's like a lavender sack, which I put with my shoes, um, which came in clutch. So I would probably pack one of those again in the future, um, just because of how good it smells. It made my whole bag smell good. Okay, MVP of the whole trip right here. These Keen sandals. They are cute and so comfortable, like unreal comfortable. Um, this was the absolute best buy I made for Europe and I would do it again and I'm absolutely going to link them down below. So check them out. These are so comfy and they, I could wear them. I wore them hiking. Like I wore them to the beach. I wore them like out to lunch. Like I wore them all the time. These were the best shoe that I could have packed. And then the last shoes I packed were for the wedding and the rehearsal dinner. Those were the only two times I wore them, but I knew that when I went to buy them and pack them. Um, but I'll link these down below too. I believe they're from DSW. Um, but yeah, that was the only like heel that I brought because it's Europe and I wasn't going to wear heels. So besides underwear, that was all that was in that packing cube. Brought a brush. So there's that. And then I have my toiletry bag in here. It looks like something broke in transit. So, oh, it's my toothbrush holder. So I did pack a toothbrush. I packed this face lotion with SPF and that was key because I was outside so much. So I started every day and ended every day with this, which was great. Um, I brought my medications. I brought a razor. I brought my deodorant. I brought dry shampoo, which I ended up not using because I got so hot and sweaty walking around all day that I showered every day and just washed my hair. So I would have left this behind in retrospect. In this, I packed some anti-wrinkle spray. So just to kind of spray out our clothes if they got wrinkled, um, that was awesome. I wish I had brought more because we were kind of conservative with it. Okay, this is a salt spray um, that I'll link down below that I use. I think it's Not Your Mama's salt spray or something. Um, and there's like almost none left if you see, because I decided to pack no hot tools with me to Europe. So I didn't bring a hairdryer, a straightener, a curler, anything. And I just let my hair be natural or I wore it up like this. Um, and that was awesome to not have to do my hair every day, to not have to worry about packing hot tools. So I really just packed this salt spray and then a curl cream that I use. Hello, there it is. So I packed some curl cream in here and then those were the only two products I used in my hair. This was some body lotion with aloe in it and also has some SPF. So that was great because I got sunburned twice pretty badly. So that came in clutch there. 
shaving cream, which was good. Definitely needed to have that. Shampoo, which was good, but we ended up staying in a lot of places that had shampoo, but I like having my own. And then conditioner in this one. I did forget to pack shower gel though, so I stole the hotel, the first hotel we stayed in, I stole a bunch of these and I used them throughout my trip and I have one left. And then face wash, so to wash my face, that's also in one of these. So this came in like a pack on Amazon that I'll link. Um, these I think came with six, and I only used four. And then I packed a roll-on like good smelling thing, so not quite perfume, but like a roll-on smell good thing, um, which was also clutch to have because um, didn't always want perfume, but did want to smell fresh. So those are my toiletries that I brought. Next is my makeup bag. I did pack a really small makeup bag with just the essentials. So mascara, my favorite blush, my BB cream foundation. That is just very minimal. I have, um, I'm blessed with decent skin, so I don't wear a lot of foundation. My eyebrows. And then I brought a bunch of things that I, oh, concealer. Um, but then I, I bought a bunch of stuff from Thrive Cosmetics that I brought. So I brought, I bought a lip liner in this like mauve color and then a lip stick in this mauve color. And these were really great to have for the wedding. This is like a, um, blush highlighter that I, like a stick that I bought that I really liked. So I brought that. I brought an eye brightener, which I love. I bought like four of these from Thrive. Um, loved that. And then a waterproof eyeliner and then one eyeshadow stick brush from them. And then I got a compact of eyeshadows and this brush that I brought just cause it was small. And I honestly on the trip, I didn't wear makeup a lot, but on like around the wedding activities and things, I wanted to have some makeup. So I invested in some new things from Thrive just cause I like their cause and everything they support. Um, and they had that compact eyeshadow palette and those eyeshadow sticks and everything. So got all of that before my trip. So that was the only makeup I brought. No regrets on any of the toiletries or makeup besides maybe the um, dry shampoo. Next packing cube. I don't even know what's in here. Okay, more things. Old Navy tank top, got a lot of use out of that. It is definitely cropped, but I had high-waisted shorts with it, which was fun. Some floral shorts, which were great, but they were a little itchy. Um, so I don't know what that's about. These were my favorite shorts I brought. They're from, I think they're Lucky. No, they're from Francesca's and they were so comfy and so cute. Um, and I wore those a ton. This is a jumper romper situation that I brought. I think I got this on um, Stitch Fix and I only wore it once, so I probably would have left that behind in the future, but I did wear it the one time. This sweater's also from Francesca's and I got a lot of use out of it. It's just a cropped sweater. It was great for when it was just a little bit chilly at night, but I wanted something. And then I got this jacket from Old Navy, which is such a good jacket. I just didn't wear it a lot because it was hot pretty much everywhere on our trip. So I wore the sweater more just because it was lighter, but I love that jacket. Um, and I would definitely buy it again. I just don't know that I would, it depends on the weather if I would have needed it. So I'm glad I packed it, but I didn't wear it a lot. I brought these white pants that I wore never because it was so hot. So I never wore these and I got scared because they were white. Um, so jean shorts, I would not pack again because I wanted something comfier most days because we were moving around a lot and these are kind of restricted. Um, but these are from J. Crew. And I probably would just leave those at home next time. I did bring one pair of jeans. They're inside out right now. Um, but I did wear these a couple times and would definitely recommend a pair of like stretchy jeans. And these are really stretchy and comfortable. So love those. And then I never wore my black jeans. So I would have left those behind in retrospect as well. I wore these fleece leggings to Europe on the plane and never wore them again because it was so hot. Um, but theoretically they were a good idea for the plane. It just was warm there. And then I br brought these pair of PJ pants that I never wore because again, it was hot. Okay, here's a small packing cube thing. And I think it's just um, bras and socks in here. So I won't show you that, but 
I did bring the right number of socks and underwear, so happy there. And then this is my last packing cube that's in the bag. This one was stuffed tight, um, busting at the seams. Um, this was a romper I got off of Lulu's, and it was so cute, and I only wore it once, but I wish I had had an opportunity to wear it again, but it wrinkled so fast, so um, it just wasn't ideal for traveling. This is a jean jacket that I bought recently at the beach, and it's stretchy, and it was so comfy, and I wore it almost every day, so that was a huge win. Good choice to bring that. My rain jacket, which I didn't wear because it only drizzled one, like, two days, and it barely drizzled, so glad I brought it but never used it. I forget where this shirt's from, but it was cute. I wore it in Croatia one time, um, but never wore it again. This is my hanging bag, so on the way there, Collins carry on, because I we bought this bag for the way home. On the way there, this was his carry on, and it had his suit for the wedding, and it had my dress for the wedding, and the rehearsal dinner, and the romper, because it um, wrinkles, so brought that back. I brought this cover up, because we went to a beach party as part of the wedding, and it is cute and small. That was worth bringing. And then I brought one one-piece swimsuit that I think is from Cupshe, which I love. Brought that, loved it, wore it. And then this swimsuit that I got on Amazon, I think. And I wore that as well because our hotel in Croatia had a really nice rooftop pool. So I wore both those swimsuits multiple times. This was the dress I wore to the rehearsal dinner which is real cute, but again, I obviously only wore it the one time, but worth packing. And then this is the dress I wore to the wedding. This is from Lulu's. It's hard to kind of see, but I'll, I'm sure I'll insert pictures of what I wore, but it's this like mint green pleated dress. It's really pretty. And then I bought this cashmere, well, it's not cashmere, this really soft um, wrap that I wore with the dresses if I got cold. Um, and I got this on Amazon, so I'll link it. It was a little expensive, but it's really good quality, and I'm glad I got it. That is it for this giant bag. All of that was in here. Nice and empty now. And I feel like I packed really efficiently. There are only a few items that I brought that I didn't use or wear. So I think I did pretty good. And then I brought back a lot of souvenirs and things. So brought back a bottle of Lemoncello. Brought back some nutcrackers because I collect those, some truffle salt, some jams, and things that are in Colin's bags. He got a cuckoo clock, so all in all, it was an amazing trip. More to come. There'll be mini vlogs, budget recaps, reconciling, all of the things to come, but I did want to film this while I am still unpacking so that you could see what I bought and get my reactions as to what I would bring, and if you're planning a Europe trip, hopefully this gives you some ideas of what to bring. I feel like there wasn't there wasn't anything that I felt like I wish I had had, besides maybe like all birds that were the right size, <laughs> but other than that, I feel like I packed really well. Um, I would have packed lighter if I could have, so, but it's just hard to know what the weather's gonna be when you go for two weeks, because it could change when you get there. So, I feel like I did pretty good. Let me know what you think down below, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.